accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills for doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit gopioneer.com for more information. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal First, the visitors from Yale. All right, welcome back to uh, GarberWolverines.tv this week. Uh, just kind of finishing up homecoming activities here, and Dylan Dalton was named the king, and McKenna Wagner was uh, named the queen this evening, so congratulations to them. But uh, this week's been a big week. We have uh, alumni weekend going on, and I'm joined here with my aunt, Sherry Monsees, which would be on the mother's side of the family, uh, mother-sister, so 
Uh, she was one of the event organizers this week. And Sherry, if you don't mind, just go ahead and tell us uh, a little bit what you've done this week or what activities we've done and what we got look forward to here tomorrow. Oh, gosh, it's just been awesome this week. We started last night. The GCIA had their monthly bingo downtown at the community theater. We had 63 people there, and 30 of them was from Garber alumni. We had a lady from uh, North Carolina that joined us last night, and that was just really incredible. All right, so bingo last night, which I was there. I think class of 05 had three attendees, and then there was two other classes. I believe had four, so we kind of got outruled. But uh, um, so we were well represented there with some classes. Um, I think we, uh, the alumni association, I got to mention that they donated all the prizes, and so we had good prizes from local businesses here in town, and uh, also helped with the food. So all that money would go back to the GCIA and kind of help with some events throughout the years. So we had bingo last night. Obviously, we had the parade. What was your uh, what was your feelings on that today? Oh, gosh. We had 45 entries in the parade today. It was just awesome. Uh, we had the parade marshal, How Long. Uh, he's been a 1944 state championship football team. He graduated in um, 45. And um, he went to OSU, and then he came back and helped with the family business. It was just really good to have Hal with us today, and that was an honor to have him be our parade marshal. Well, I think anybody that's been around Garber for any period of time knows Hal and what he's done. I don't know if Hal's 95 or 96, but you'll still find him at meetings helping the community, so that was a good selection there. Uh, Unfortunately, about 30 minutes before the parade, the fire department got called out, so you kind of lost some, some attendees there. Uh, but some you never, help. Yeah, and some help, I guess. But uh, So, yeah, we were looking forward to that, and I think we still got a few in maybe, but uh, uh, overall good turnout, I think. And I, I, like I said, I wasn't able to watch. I made it back for the pep rally, uh, but it looked like it was a good turnout. Oh, yes. We had seven of our FFA students. Um, FFA members carry the flags for us. We had that Garber band. Um, we had class floats from past classes and current classes. The junior high um, did an awesome uh, pomping <laughs> float for us and uh, really was uh, phenomenal. Are you hinting that class of 05 did not win? <laughs> the winners will be announced at halftime tonight. <laughs> okay, so we will not be privileged to that information yet. So We did have a 100-year-old member, Rex Campbell. He's the oldest member that's attending our school reunion. Um, he rode in a vehicle donated by Ron Millard today. Uh, his uh, nephew, Rod Brunken, he's a 1970 graduate, and... Uh, he got him here today, and that was really a cool thing to have a 100-year-old member in the parade. All right. Well, um, so what do we have uh, tomorrow? I know there's some things on the agenda for tomorrow. What do you got going tomorrow? Well, let's back up for tonight. Oh. We've got this game, and we've got a street <laughs> dance coming on at 830 to 1130 tonight. We might go a little longer if the ball game lasts a little longer tonight, but um, we're scheduled from 8.30 to 11.30. Some of the older ones like to go at 8.30 and get home by 10, and then some of the younger ones, I say, like to stay out later, so we're making it 8.30 to 11.30 or so. We have a couple of food trucks down there on Main Street. Um, so that's going to be really nice. We have a DJ. He's going to play music for every age category that shows up for the dance tonight. I wonder if he'll play some music that Levi likes. Levi, you, uh, yeah, we'll see our cameraman or computer guru here. He, uh, he's a little bit younger than us, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm sure he'll kind of cover all the bases there with the music. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that'll be going on this evening, so good thing you brought that up. I kind of slipped my mind here right before the game, uh, but uh, then tomorrow. Tomorrow we have our annual uh, meeting. It's always on Saturday. We have it at noon, so on Saturday evening, individual classes can have their own uh, individual class party or class gathering that night. 
So uh, from now on, this homecoming uh, alumni weekend is going to be in conjunction with the football homecoming. So we just have to wait to find out <laughs> every other year when the uh, homecoming game will be here. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we got about nine minutes before kickoff here, so we'll go take a short break and uh, listen to some of our sponsors and come back and finish up this here before the game. So. Process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Laser Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at Bling. 
All right, welcome back to GarberWolverines.tv here uh, with Sherry Monsees, uh, one of the event organizers for the, uh, <laughs> I said the Christmas parade, the uh, homecoming parade this week, and a lot of the different activities here. But Sherry, you had a few more things you wanted to cover here, and uh, what was what was that going to be? Oh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the parade. We had uh, Bertha Hostetler here from the class of 1944. Uh, she was Miss GHS back then in 1944, so uh, it was an honor to have her here today in the parade. Uh, Bill Morris, our past Garber Alumni Association president, was in the parade today. Um, we just had a lot of uh, the police, the sheriff, the OHP, the fire trucks supporting us. Um, Miller EMS. We had HEI and Blazer Bling from down on the Main Street, Cherokee Strip Transit, Castle Metal Designs, Pioneer Telephone, Garber Co-op. We had past classes like Class of 91. We had a float with the past football, basketball players, and past homecoming queens and kings. And then um, our president had her 1966 um, classic GMC pickup in it. Um, we just had a lot of people come back. Jimmy Nevius with his 1963 Ford. Monty McKendry with his 1969. Hey, you were kind of mentioning uh, over the break about some scholarships. What do you guys do with those? We got a few minutes here before the game starts. As Coach Harmon gave me a little love tap there. So, uh, what was the, what was the scholarship you're going to tell me about? Uh, the Garber Alumni Association. Their one of their main purposes is to have. Uh, scholarships for the seniors each year and we give uh, anywhere from two thousand to twenty five hundred dollar scholarships we have eleven scholarships we had six new scholarships from a donor just this past year and that contributed to these seniors and that's a real big thing for 11 scholarships for these seniors so we are very appreciative of everyone that gives to our scholarship um, program here yep. yes all right well i'd just like to thank you uh, for coming on here looks like we're about to start the game so i do appreciate you being here this evening and uh looks like we're about to get the game started so like i said thank thanks again and we'll be back back in just a minute here with fletcher uh reed the main host of the evening so okay thank you for having me appreciate it everybody come out and celebrate in garber tonight with the street dance after the game thank you Check, check. And back deep to receive the Bulldogs, number seven, TJ Reese. Welcome to Garber Wolverines TV. We are about to kick off here tonight. Wolverines are kicking off to Yale to begin this ball game. Uh, it looks like we have a little bit of difference on special teams with Carson Bishop kicking off, and he kicks a little squib kick, takes a few bounces, and number seven, PJ Reese. Picks it up, trying to find a hole. He bounced out to the left side, got a little room. Carson Bishop's trying to get an angle on him. He gets outside. Ellis tries to get an angle and shoves him out of bounds about the 40-yard line of the Wolverines. 
Yeah, pretty good uh, return there by Yale to start the game. Kind of, kind of jumped around there. Nice kick, uh, but just made some misses there and got a nice return. Looks like they're going to be starting at the forty, the Garber forty-three. Yeah, so uh, Yale huddles up. A few key guys to watch tonight for the Wolverines. Leading tackler Trevin Blazer. Blazer has 38 tackles on the year. Look for him to be a factor at the linebacker position as they creep towards the line of scrimmage. Looks like the Wolverines might bring a little pressure here. Snap. Fakes the jet sweep go. handoff. A lot of pressure. Won the line of scrimmage bow. Brought him down for a short, short gain, if any. We just brought up Trevin Blazer, and he got the first tackle of the night. So look for him to be, like we said, a key factor in the middle of this Wolverine defense. Looks like we have a few new faces down there on the defensive line. Snap, drops back to pass, throws it out to P.J. Reese, and he's got room to run, trying to get to the outside. Carson Bishop giving it a gain, and he reaches over the pylon. Looks like it'll be a touchdown there. So a short little slant route, number 24, quarterback Corn Prather to P.J. Reese, goes for about 43 yards and gives us the first score of the night as the Bulldogs take the lead 6-0. to Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, Fletch, uh, but... <laughs> But uh, it was a quick score here. The Yale Bulldogs on the clock within the first uh, 53 seconds here to start the game. Yeah, I kind of stacked those receivers over there. One that looked like ran deep, and the other stayed underneath, and he had room to run. There's a little option. He fakes it, tries to find a gap, and he does. And number 24, Corn Prather is able to punch it in. So with un under a minute, about 53 seconds, the Yale Bulldogs strike first and give them the lead of 8 to nothing here tonight at Warren Dell Stadium. We'll take a short break and come back for this kicked off by the Bulldogs. Laserbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazerbling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV with 11 minutes, 7 seconds left to play in the first. The Bulldogs strike first to give them a score of 8-0. to zero. Yeah, It was a quick score there. Kind of found a soft spot in the defense there and put eight, 8 up on us pretty quick here. So it'll be interesting to see what Coach Hughes and the offense brings out here in this first half, first quarter. Yeah, looks like number five, Sammy Reese, is getting ready to kick the ball off for the Bulldogs. And kicks it deep to Carson Bishop, trying to bring it in. Takes a good bulldog bounce. Oh, please tell me it's, it's out, out of bounds. I do believe it was out of bounds, but. Oh, that kind of hung up on the sideline. Made me nervous from up top. It was really close. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Carson was thinking it was going to go out of bounds there a lot quicker than it did. Yeah, it kind of took a good hop for the Bulldogs, but are we – Thing is here, to, uh, the only way it's not a penalty is if the Wolverines touched it first, and then a yell guy touched it from out of bounds. But looks like the Wolverines will take over on their own 28-yard line. Wolverines will take possession first down and ten at their own 28-yard line. Open up in shotgun formation. Brett Howry in the gun at the quarterback position. Carson Bishop in motion. There's a snap, and we have a flag. False start. start. Yep. That penalty on the a few key guys down on the offensive side of the ball. Brett Howery uh, already thrown so far this season for 756 yards, nine touchdowns. And Carson Bishop will play a little bit of running back receiver. He's already gotten 365 rushing yards, 164 receiving yards combined for nine touchdowns. So as Howery drops back pass, quick throw over the middle of Seth Smith, who's who I was going to oh. talk about next. Then he gets brought down but gets a big gain, gets the penalty yardage back in more to bring up second down in. Really short. short. Yeah, it's going to be real short here. But, yeah, that was just a route across the top there with Smith, the tight end, and uh, 
quarterback hit him on, on the run. And just one guy between him and the end zone, but made the tackle, so we'll be second and short nope. here. Oh, got saw Colton Steiner out here at the receiver position by himself. Oh, and I believe he jumps off sides. Yep. That's on you, Coach. Yeah, I did. You, he was by himself. He got excited. He got you excited. Jumped and he jumped. <laughs> I'll, I'll take full responsibility for that one. No one was out there on him. He was trying to run a route in a hurry. <laughs> so after the penalty, second and six upcoming now. Same formation. Blazer in the fullback. Hand off Carson Bishop to position. He gets struck pretty early on his run. Finds a way to get positive yardage, but not much. Just a nice little hard run up the middle there. Got a few yards, so... Be looking at what third and three or third and four here on this first drive by the Wolverine offense. Nick Nahara comes in, freshman for the Wolverines at the receiver position. You got Seth Smith at the tight end. Blazer now kind of creepy. He'll kind of bounce back and forth between tight end and fullback. And Howry at the quarterback position with, I believe that's still Carson Bishop to his right. Snap, little option look, pitches it out to Carson. He's got a little room trying to beat the man to the outside. Good hard run. Might be a little short. Yeah, about a yard short ah. here. I'm going to hope the Wolverines just go ahead and line up and get this first down. And it looks like the offense will stay out on the field. Getting the play call from Coach Hughes. Have your shotgun formation snap, hand off to Carson. He's tiptoes, get downhill. You and got he the, does. Yeah. Right kind of a little sidestep to get by, got by one of the defenders there, but be a nice gain for a first down here. Now we have Alex Chester checking in for the Wolverines at the tailback position. Smith on the left side here. Snap from Wyoming to Howard. He draws the pass. Smith looking for Smith. Open. Smith on the cross route, and he gets a little behind me. He makes a good grab, makes one guy miss. Trying to get out of another leg <laughs> tackle is brought down, but gets a gain of nine. He was fighting there. Yeah, he was uh, kind of cross right over the top there, and Smith came open. Quarterback found him and be second short here for the Wolverines. This is, I mean, second possession or second set of downs here for the Wolverines and getting second and one, putting yourself in a fair position will put us in a situation where we can succeed. There's a snap, fakes it. Howie looking for room to run. He does get Got the first it. down and more. Oh, it looks like he was going to break it, but number two, Blake Perry brings him down from behind. This is a nice, nice uh, gain on that pull there by the quarterback. Uh, probably gained, what, 12 yards there, so. Yeah. Gave the opportunity for the quarterback to read. A little read option, and he decided to keep it and gives the Wolverines a first down. Tell you what, I don't know if there's an empty seat in the house down here, Coach Reed. Yeah, it is packed here tonight at Warrendale Stadium with all the homecoming festivities. Snap, low snap, he's able to maintain it, throws a Seth Smith across the middle and through the hands. Hard thrown ball. <laughs> <laughs> it was coming pretty quick. But, yeah, Smith was coming across the top there again. Uh, just kind of went through his hands. and Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sure you all discussed this earlier during the interview, but it was awesome to kind of see the different classes throughout the parade yeah. today. And you can kind of, I mean, see a lot of those similar faces, similar familiar faces here tonight uh, watching the Wolverines. Snap, hand off to Hoops, Trenton Hoops, and he tries to get downhill and finds a little bit of room, but not much. They had uh, left guard Dakota Martin there pulling to the right, and uh, running back just ran underneath him there. And nice gain of three yards. Brings up at third and seven. As we are now inside the 40-yard line of the Bulldogs. Snap, draws back to throw. Looking for Carson Bishop on an out route. Oh. Falls incomplete. Tied in, stayed that time, and uh, Hoops went out for that for on the far side, and I think he just got a little bit of pressure and tried to get rid of the ball pretty quick. Yeah, a few substitutions by the Wolverines. Two wide receiver set, twins right. Looks like Carson Bishop will go over there as well. 
And Yell seems to bring, looks like four guys along the line of scrimmage each and every snap. Gosh. Yeah, they all, they have them all right up on the line. Might be against the Bulldogs here. Oh, thank goodness. Oof. Offsides called on the Bulldogs. So that fourth and seven now turns into fourth and two. Howard alone in the gun as of right now with Bishop and Nahara to his left. Oh, change in formation. Hoops runs out on the field. Snyder checks out. Hoops at the tailback position, the right of Howry. Snap, draws back to throw. Across the middle, Carson nice Bishop catch. brings it in. Good catch there by Carson Bishop. Number one, Carson Bishop for the Wolverines. Tackled by number seven, P.J. Reese. Looks like he's a little off balance. I didn't know if he'd be able to bring it in, but <laughs> snagged out of the air and gives the Wolverines first down. First and ten as we inch closer to the red zone. Just under eight minutes here in this first quarter. Yelp scored pretty quick. The Wolverines have been driving here. Snap, drops back to throw, nice. finds hoops. He brings it in. He's trying to make one no. guy miss and brought down from behind, but gives the Wolverines a first down. Now they're inside the 10-yard line. Good, nice throw, uh, nice throw and catch there. And, uh, oh. Smith was coming back looking for a block and didn't want to be doing anything stupid there, so he made the right play and let that guy go. But nice game there by hoops. Wolverines quickly back to the ball. Snap. Hands off Trent Hips this time. He makes one guy miss. Trips forward. Did he get it out? He's Stretched. In. And he is. Good run there by Trent Hips. Got tripped up, but outstretched his hands, gets the ball across the, the goal line, and gives the Wolverines their first touchdown of the night. It seems like we see a lot of these pulling guards here with Coach Hughes' offense, but I believe the right guard pulled to the left there, and uh, Hips went underneath and had one guy hanging on to his leg, but went ahead and scored. And put up Garber's first six points for the game. Yeah, and that was a really good drive. Kind of just made it, or we seemed to always get positive yardage, yeah. get, give ourselves third and short opportunities, fourth and short opportunities, and able to punch it in. Howard drops back to throw, and he's got a man open. Trenton hoops a, Oh, it looks like he had a little bit of room, but falls incomplete. But a good first drive by the Wolverine offense. Uh, I wouldn't say it was methodical, just kind of wasn't just an explosive yeah. play. Just kind of got got the yards that were available, made some key third down, fourth down conversions. and Didn't see any chunk plays there. But, yeah. But, you know, three, five yards, ten yards here. Uh, so, yeah, just – Nice move down the field to, to start this uh, first drive for the Wolverines. Yep, Trenton Hoops punches the end. The score is now 8-6 to six in favor of the Yale Bulldogs with seven and a half minutes left to play. We'll take a quick break and come back for the Wolverine kickoff. New tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. Score 8-6 to six with 7 minutes, 33 seconds left to play. Looks like Carson Bishop will line up to kick it off. Deep kick last time. And now a little more of a squib. Number 8, Braden Hodgett brings it in. He's looking for room to run. Doesn't have much, and so he'll be tackled about the 40-yard line. Nice tackle there by Ty Silvers. And I Tackle so, by number 17. Silvers and then I don't know. For the Wolverine. Missed the other one there, but I know Silvers is in on that tackle. Bulldogs will take possession first down and 10 at their own 41 yard line. One of the Bulldogs we need to watch tonight is number seven, PJ Reese, who got their first score. Um, a lot of their explosive plays have come through him throughout this season. Expect them to go to him quite a bit. See if the Wolverine defense can do a little bit of job on this Their second snap drive rolls here. out to left. And looks like they're targeting him, and they find him on a little bit of a curl route. He brings it in for a gain of seven. Nice little route there again by the Yale Bulldogs. And P.J. Priest, I believe was his name. P.J. Reese, yes. Reese. Second two here for the Yale Bulldogs. Shotgun formation, got the tailback st straight behind the quarterback. Hard count and gets him. So that'll uh, force the Wolverines to jump off sides, and so that'll give the Yale Bulldogs a free first down. Bulldogs a first down and 10. 
at the Wolverine 46 yard line. Same formation for the Bulldogs. Snap. Hand off to tailback. He Nothing. doesn't have room to run. Yep. Number three, Cayman Prather, is brought down for no gain. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, Seth Smith just kind of stretched that defense out there. And had a, you know, Bulldogs didn't get a lot of push there. Defense did really well, and Seth Smith made a nice tackle for keep that for no gain. Second and 10 upcoming for the Bulldogs. Number 22, Jesse Poole, the lone receiver left. Then you have number seven, PJ Reese to the right. Snap. Hand off there. The counter. Ooh. Oh, makes one there miss. But Smith. then Seth Smith with a big hit and then a late flag. Jackson Wibling kind of got that play turned back and Smith was there and just kind of put him on his back. Nice play. Oh. Must have been somewhere else because it wasn't on the tackle. I didn't see. I mean, I know he turned back and he kind of turned his. But I didn't see any sort of hands near that area, at least for the ball carrier. Five yard penalty. So after the penalty, brings up second and seven. They come out of the huddle. Number 15, Connor Elliott now as the receiver position left side. Snap, hand off to Reese, no room. There you go. Oh, he got me on it as well. And number 24, Corn Prather with the big gain. Good pull there by the court. I mean, he tricked me up here yeah. in the box. I thought he handed off the tailback and we brought him down for a loss and all of a sudden Play kept going, and Prather was able to give them a huge gain to bring it inside the five-yard line. Yeah, it looks like it'll be first and five here for the Wolverines, just under six minutes to go in the first quarter. Or first and five for the Bulldogs. Snap. Handoff now to Reese. He's trying to find a hole and gets a little short. bit of gap, but brought down short. Number seven, number 32, for About the one, two yard line now. Just a nice hard run there to the right side. And Wolverines held him, but we'll see what we can do here on the second short. Bulldogs huddle up, kind of slowed it down a little bit compared to what they've been doing the past few plays. Same formation. Pray there awaits the snap. Snap. Hand off to Reese. Oh, no, he pulls it, looking to throw, and now it looks like he's going to try to run, get to the edge. And he's able to score. So, Corn Pray there punches it in for the Bulldogs uh, to give them the lead 14 to 6. So it looks like they're kind of using, I mean, P.J. Reese we saw with the explosive play earlier. Now they put him in the tailback position. He hadn't had some decent runs, I guess you could say, but they're using more as a guy to – Deploy. Yeah, a ploy. They're faking it to him. Defense yeah. seems to flow his direction, and the quarterback's just keeping it and finding room to run. Yeah. Unsuccessful. Score is 14-6 to six with four minutes and 53 seconds left to play. Uh, we'll take a short break and come back for the kickoff by the Yell Bulldogs. School streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. 
We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. Reese is about to kick the ball off, kicks it towards the sideline. It does go out of bounds. And I believe, yep, yeah, there's the flag. Give the uh, Wolverines good starting uh, field position Kickoff here. Out of bounds, so we will have a flag on the play. Get the yardage counted off. False start, what about that? Out of bounds, though. The ball. First down and 10 at their own 42 Am I just line. making stuff up? You <laughs> I am not sure what that was. <laughs> Wren's got good field position here, though, so. Heavier set in for the Wolverines. There's a snap handoff to Ooh. Alex Chester. Ooh. Gets downhill, makes, oh, trying to find, took three Bulldogs to bring him down as I thought he was about to find a way to get out of that one. I would have loved to have seen that on replay. The interior line there got a ton of movement. Uh, I don't know. For as much movement as we got, we should have got a lot more yards of that deal. Yeah. But it was impressive. You saw the wall over here. Snap, drops back to throw this screen. time. Screen, and Blazer's able to bring it in. He's got a little room to run. Got a lot of room to run now. Trying to beat them to the sideline. It's a foot raise. Gives a stiff arm. I believe will be shoved out of bounds, but gives a gain, gives the Wolverines a gain of 50. And we have a flag. It's going to be against the Wolverines here. I think they're trying to. They're saying maybe the offensive line was down the past the line of scrimmage for the ball. There's or? no way, that, but the pass Not happened so fast. I mean, it hit the quarterback's hands immediately. It was thrown. We're going to have a timeout here by the Wolverines to try to sort this thing out. But as of right now, I believe this is going to take the Wolverines back after the penalty. We might as well stick with you. I'm sure this will be a short timeout. Um, but the Bulldogs do have the lead with four minutes and 12 seconds left to play, 14-6 uh, to six tonight. And... Brady, you've already mentioned tonight, but the crowd here is uh, has been – oh, my bad. The crowd here tonight has been uh, really outstanding here. It's, uh, it is packed <laughs> at Warrendale Stadium. Yeah, uh, good turnout here. I kind of came in right about the time homecoming was going on, but, uh, yeah, I was kind of looking out there now, and there's not a seat open. Yeah, so, I mean, you can kind of hear them tonight. It's the Wolverines are making big plays. We've been – Scored a touchdown. You got explosive play there, and you saw it as they you really don't notice it until they all start to stand up from where we're sitting, and then you realize, oh my goodness, we we packed the place, which seems to be uh, I don't know why we're shocked. It seems to be a normal occasion <laughs> yeah. here, but uh, yeah. just see we see a little bit different faces, I guess yep. you could say, as uh, with it being homecoming, we had the parade today. Um, Going to honor some reunion classes here tonight, so good to see some people back here that may may have not been here in a little bit of time. Yeah, there's – oh, they're going to wave the flag here, I see. <laughs> so, wow, that's a – I haven't seen that very often. You use a timeout, get after the referee, and all of a sudden the ref says, we agree with you. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take that 50 yards. I, I got to get with Coach Hughes and figure out what – how did he just yeah. make that happen because yeah. I, don't, I don't have that type of luck on the, on yeah. the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's kind of good, good for the Wolverines there. He, yep. <laughs> they talked it out and – Decided Coach Hughes was, was right. So big gain on the screen pass, the Blazer. It will be first and goal from the seven-yard line. Heavy set in again for the offense. Snap, hand off to Alex Chester. He bounces to the outside, make one guy miss, and he does. Now he's going the opposite direction, makes another guy miss, spins off another, still trucking forwards. We got a little help from the line. Good There's a flag. flag. It, he does get into the end zone, but there is a flag on the play. Yeah, 
what do we got here, you think? I mean, there's, there's – I don't know. It was the far judge that threw that – far official. I'm going to talk about it again. Face mask here. Face mask. So that'll be declined, I would assume. Oh. Yeah, I think he's. I think it's still against GL, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe he's just saying on the kickoff. Yeah. Maybe that's what the – Penalty as it gets the Bulldogs. Okay, the good. So it was a face mask, and the Wolverines are punching in. Alex Chester with a really good run right there. <laughs> kind of had one man to miss, but bounced off it, sent him a different direction. So he kind of went back to the middle of the field where more of the Bulldog defenders were at, but cut it up, powered two, through two defenders, and uh, punched it in. Yeah, you had a bunch of Wolverines that didn't stop there and uh, kind of just kept pushing and, and ended up in the end zone. So rewarding on that play there by, for the running back and the team. Yeah, so two-point conversion upcoming for the Wolverines. They try to tie this ball game. Snap, handoff to Carson Bishop. He bounced the outside. He'll go into the end zone untouched. So two-point conversion is good to tie this ball game with three minutes and 58 seconds left to play. So good run by Alex Chester. Carson Bishop able to punch in the two-point conversion, ties it up, and we will take a short break and come back with the Wolverine kickoff with this score 14 to 14. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world... Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. Score 14 to 14. It looks like Simon Narha may be the one kicking for the special teams unit tonight. And referees coming in. Got a little. Oh, we got the penalty. You got to move it, right? Yep, there we go. We'll, we'll get it right. Better late than never. Touchdown run. We'll mark that off. There we go. This looks a little better. Hey, sometimes, I mean, you got you give <laughs> yourselves a minute, you forget some things. Yeah. I'm, there's a lot of stuff going on nowadays. <laughs> See if the Wolverines can't kind of pin these Bulldogs back here deep and get a good stop. Nahara with the big kick. Give us a good bounce. That's where the sideline does stay in. He takes about the 10, trying to contain him. And Reese Fast. finds room, cuts up field, and looks like it'll be a foot race. And Reese will win it for the Bulldogs as he scores. So good kick. I mean, pinned him back. He got it, what, about the five yard line, yeah, probably? Five, five ten, 10 yard, yard line, yeah. and just kind of found an opening there in the middle. And he's, he's not slow. He was pretty quick. Yeah, and just kind of made, cut it back up field, found some room, and he was gone. Tied it up, and the Bulldogs quickly jump back out on top here. Kickoff return. I, besides that second drive, they've been pretty quick on the on the scoring. On yeah. the scoring. <laughs> Time of possession is definitely on the Warren <laughs> side. Of the eye formation, tight eye. We got one wide receiver out wide right. Snap, handoff. Hand nope, fakes it. it, and then follows the fullback in. I believe he got in. So not a whole lot of time went off the clock as uh, the kickoff return was taken to the house. About a 90-yard kickoff return by P.J. Reese. And it's one of those situations out of the penalty. I like the idea of kind of pinning back deep, yeah. but gave, probably gave their best athlete and playmaker the ball in space, and he was able to find a hole, and he, he scored in a hurry, it seemed like. Yeah, once he kind of made a few guys miss, he was gone, and I don't – there wasn't a Wolverine that was close there. I think Simic was maybe chasing him down, but he yeah. wasn't making much ground. <laughs> he was he was keeping up with him. But. Yeah. 
So that brings the score to 22 to 14 with three minutes and 44 seconds left to play. Cheerleaders getting the crowd amped up tonight. It looks like yeah, got the high school and junior high for homecoming. As number five, Sammy Reese puts the ball down. Let's kicked it out of bounds last time. We'll see what happens on this kickoff attempt. Kicks toward the sideline again. Takes Fable Hop. Carson Pick gets it. it. Find a little room, Carson. Plants upfield. He tries to make a few guys miss. Ooh, gets tripped up. A good, good return there by Carson Bishop. Bring it near midfield. Yeah, good run. Good blocking. He was really close to breaking that one loose and uh, got tackled there. But good field position here for the Wolverines just at the 48-yard line. Seth Smith goes to the left side. Shotgun formation. Snap. Hand out to Alex Chester. He makes one guy he miss. Goes. He's got room to run. Get there. Alex foot raised down the middle of the field, and it looks like he will score. So Alex Chester, oh, almost gets tripped up, but does end up scoring for his second touchdown of the night. So big time touchdown for Alex Chester. You had the guard pull there on the right side, pulled over to the left, and uh, opened up a hole, and in the, in the running back uh, made one guy miss there, and he was gone. So that's, that's a second touchdown tonight by freshman Alex Chester. You know, the, I feel like kind of the way Yell's playing all up on the ball like that. If you can get through that initial line of scrimmage, got make, make that guy miss, you're gone. That's how we saw earlier with the screen pass as well. They yeah. got some pressure up near the ball, but got it out quick and got a 40-yard 40, 40 gain. So two-point conversion attempt. Howry drops back to throw. Cross route of Carson. He bobbles it. Bobbles it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it falls incomplete. Thought he brought it in two, three <laughs> times right there. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> he catched it three or four times until that last time, but good effort. So it's another situation where after the quick score, there's no reason to, <laughs> to go to break as the Wolverines strike back quick. Uh, good kickoff turn by Carson Bishop. Then Alex Chester with the run right up the middle. Yeah. And like you said, made one, two guys miss. And then he was untouched until about the two, three-yard line. <laughs> Almost got tripped up, but <laughs> found a way to, to score it. Yeah, just uh, I guess we're still in the first quarter here, three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Wolverines answer with a quick return of their own, or a quick uh, score of their own, and looks like the Bulldogs are going to be lining up to receive this ball here. And so early in this game, it feels like a, I guess you'd call it a shootout, right? Just yeah. score, <laughs> touchdown after <laughs> touchdown. Yeah. Got to get a stop. <laughs> So while we're waiting for the Wolverine special teams unit to get back on the field, good opportunity to thank our sponsors. Uh, that's kind of what makes this Gar Wolverines TV work. Um, so we, I mean, we appreciate it, uh, all their support, and just helping helping two guys that maybe not be geniuses, but gives us the opportunity <laughs> to talk talk yeah. to you guys on every yeah. Friday night. I'm sure they could find better help. <laughs> Maybe they up up the ante on the, yeah. the sponsorship prize. Maybe yeah. they can get rid of yeah. the, the amateurs up here. Well, we're undefeated. <laughs> that you, is true. I, you know, I was thinking about that earlier today, so they brought us back. <laughs> Simon with the Ooh, onside nice. kick, and it bounced off the hands. It looks like the Wolverines are going to bring it in. Yes. Just a quick low kick there, bounced off the Bulldogs, and the Wolverines are right there to make that play. This one, I mean, we just talked about we kick it deep last time, give one of their best playmakers, and it looked like a good call by Coach Savage, special teams coach, to decide, well, let's just go ahead and try to do an onside. Bulldogs were not expecting it. Wolverines able to get it done, and if, I mean, that, you can count that as a stop, right? We beg for a stop, it, it, yeah. I guess that happened. <laughs> See if the Wolverines can't take this opportunity and kind of get on the top edge of this deal here. Snap, hand off to Alex. Gets touched in the backfield, trying to run hard, but it is brought down for a loss of one. Yeah, 77 there for the Bulldogs. Uh, Lucas Reese kind of got in the backfield. Looks like there's going to be a flag maybe. Yeah, uh, 77 he was in on the tackle. Kind of got up and showed the muscles a little bit after the play and got a little too much celebration, I believe, is what the referees thought. So unsportsmanlike called against the Bulldogs. We'll give the Wolverines first down. 
I don't want to say too much about that, but you know, kid makes a good play, and uh, you got to play with emotion, uh, but got to keep it under control too. There, but, yeah. Uh, made, he made a good play. Definitely yeah, I mean, reason it, to be excited there. Yeah, and it's one of those things. I mean, you probably could watch a lot of broadcasts and see kids probably do that, but it's just kind of depending on maybe who's calling the game and who's yeah. watching whether that that's allowed. So now you know. <laughs> Twins left formations. Wolverines get the first down about the 35 yard line of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are crowd line scrimmage again, press coverage on the outside, and Howry has no room and gets brought down quickly. Then 11, Brett Howry brought down in the backfield. Met first by number 55, Logan Britton. I wasn't watching that there, but. I just the crowd line of scrimmage just maybe a little bit of confusion. Looks like two guys kind of just split yeah. split the line and the result was not good. No, no, <laughs> I don't know what exactly happened, but I let's not repeat it. <laughs> Trips formation to the right side. Howie alone in the gun. Motion with Steiner. Drop back quick pass, quick slant. I believe it's batted down. Yeah. They brought one too many there, and that guy just got his hands up and knocked that ball down. So, I mean, I know it seems like we keep mentioning it, but they, uh, the Bulldog defense is – they're going to put everybody within yeah. two, three yards of the, of the, the ball, whether it's yeah. secondary, whether it's defensive line, linebackers. They're all creeping towards the line of scrimmage. And it looks like on this fourth and 18, the offense will stay on the field. I see these Bulldogs step back a little bit here. Yeah. Fourth and long here. They're going to kind of creep up. Snap. Draws back to the throw. Steiner's Colton open. Steiner's open. And so is Nick Nalraz. He's able to bring it in. And again, Chase Armand makes a miss and scores. So pretty gutsy hit yeah. and call on fourth and 18 by Coach Coy Hughes. But obviously had a play that he believed would work. And Nick Nalraz able to bring it in for what I believe is his first touchdown <laughs> of the season. Yeah, Steinard, he was he was wanting the ball there. He's, look, he's still looking, but uh, great play. The quarterback had two options there and hit Nick, and uh, Nick took it to the house for, for the Wolverines here. Yeah, so it gives the Wolverines their first lead of the night with two minutes and 11 seconds left to play. The score is 26 to 22. Carson Bishop motion, snap, handoff to Carson. He cuts up field, get down the hill. I believe he does get it in. Yes, he does. So Carson Bishop punches in the two-point conversion. Now the Wolverines lead 28 to 22 after the explosive completion on fourth and 18 from Brett Howery to Nicholas Nahara to give the Wolverines the lead for the first time tonight. We'll take a short break and come back for the Wolverines kickoff. Carl demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. As the Wolverine Special Teams unit gets ready to kick the ball off, Nahra with an onside kick the last time that gave the Wolverines the ball back and able to take the lead. And this time he kicks it low, kind of bobbles in out of the hands. Go get to it. Ah, number 15, Connor Elliott able to hop on top for the Bulldogs, but will be inside the 30-yard line. Yeah, nice kick. Uh, it's kind of a fumbled ball there by the Bulldogs, but we'll take it. Uh, gonna make the Bulldogs work for this one here. Bulldogs will take possession first down and ten. At the See if these Wolverine defense can't get a stop here. We got 
kind of a little bit more of a rotation, I feel like, this week than we've had in weeks past. But. Yeah. Number 31, I believe that's Colton Deeds in at the linebacker position. Seth Smith playing linebacker tonight on the outside. Snap, rolls out to the right, looking to throw. Same route they kind of ran a few times tonight is number seven. Close. And Reese was able to bring it in. Steps out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Second down and three for the Bulldogs. Nice throw and catch there by the Bulldogs. Uh, Seems kinda, like it. it was just timed kind of just right. Yeah. Uh, had some pressure there, but quarterback threw the ball up and let us guy make a play. One of our go-tos, they ran that probably two, three times tonight already in the first quarter. Snap. We, quarterback keeper. There we go. Oh, Ooh, looks like we brought him down the backfield, but he's able to kind of get Quarterback keeper number 24. Make a guy miss Blazer. and get the first down. Tackle by number 32, Trevor Blazer. For God, Blazer. we find, read it correctly there. I thought we had him brought down the backfield. But will give Yale a first down and 10. Prather gets positive yardage and gives them the first down. Wayne Snap is Prather. Wolverine, six guys near the line of scrimmage. Draws back to throw, out route to number 15. And he's able to bring it in, and Elliott's able to give the Bulldogs a first down. Bulldogs just kind of moving the ball in here. They kind of ran the ball and kind of thrown the ball around here. So Yeah, a few short routes. and. I guess we can, if we can limit those explosive plays like they had there in the first, I guess the first half of the first quarter. Yeah, <laughs> kind of weird to worry about LA. <laughs> it's been a marathon here in this first quarter. Snap, hand off to tailbacks. He's trying to find room to run, and Wolverine's defense does a good job getting some out of bounds for no gain. Kind of limit these chunk plays here. Wolverine's come up with a turnover or something to be nice here. I guess to end this first quarter, just over a minute to go. Similar formation we've seen tonight. One tailback behind the quarterback, drops back to throw. Curl route and number 22 this time, Jesse Poole able to bring it in near the first down marker. Nick Nahra had pretty good coverage on that play. Yeah. Just was able to bring it in right in front of him, brought him down quickly as he caught the, caught the football. It is going to be third and short here for the Bulldogs. Oh, there we Make go. A big stop here. <laughs> Make them earn it. Don't jump. Ooh. Little counter line gets good push. I believe short. Cooper Hughes was in on the tackle. It looks like Seth Smith and Trevin Blazer and brought, brings him down short. Three. Fourth down here. I believe they'll, they'll bring believe us to the end of the first quarter. Two, as we take a break in the first quarter, Garber Wolverines TV will as well as the Wolverines have a lead 28 to 22. When we come back, it'll be fourth and one for the L Bulldogs. Hunt and Covington knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech. We are Autry Technology Center. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. 
In addition to his push, wouldn't surprise me if they just kind of go quarterback sneak here. Hard the count, maybe. So short. Nope. nope, full back. He's no good. That's oh, Ugh. looks yeah, like early we kind of stood him up, but he good. fell forward, and I believe he got it. That was close, but yeah, the, that second effort there just kind of falling over the pile got him that first. I think we should measure it. <laughs> Coach Reed, what's similar in basketball to fourth and short here in football? What would that be? Uh, Two seconds left. Yeah, I mean, it'd be up, <laughs> up, <laughs> up one. It's kind of hard to, to say that because you can have these opportunities quite a bit in football, whereas in basketball it's kind of into quarter situations where you see that. It, just knowing you can't give an inch type mentality. Yeah. Short game there by the Bulldogs. Running right up the middle, number second three, eight. Met by number one, Carson Bishop for Barber. Closest thing would maybe be like baseline out of bounds under yeah. their basket, and you know you yeah. got to get a stop. Second and eight. Brady got me off track speaking yeah. of hoops. My bad. No, I was thinking too, but we'll wait till after this play here. <laughs> oh, a little nice option little. and kind of oh, just getting. throws it chest pass style now that I'm on the Let's basketball rant three. and it makes the guy miss on the cut-up field and that gives him positive field. yardage, so third and short upcoming. I guess it would be uh, – Thinking, I watched this the other day. The Thunder, oh, back when they were good. Yeah. I don't know if they were playing the Clippers. This would have been like 2012 or 13. I say, were you watching NBA Classics? Yeah, that was on my phone. Oh, okay. And the, I think the Thunder, the Clippers, whoever it was, got the ball. And there was two or three seconds left there to end the game, and Thunder held them. Yeah, that's. Back when we had our All Stars. <laughs> <laughs> now you just look around the league and see yeah. all those guys yeah. all over that's the place. What could, what could have been? <laughs> Third and short, eye formation. Third and five. Oh, yeah, third and five. Yes, yeah, snap. That's, tries to bounce outside. Cuts up field. You going to hold him? Yes. We're going to hold him. So, another fourth and short. Fourth and two. two. Yep. Up coming for the Bulldogs. Head off goes to number three, Kamen Prater. Tackle on the play by number 31, Colton Deeds for the Wolverines. Wolverines got to keep him keep to four that four game the last time. We'll hold him here. Bulldogs. Yes. Yale's taking their time getting this play. Mr. Wybing got the fourth down music cranked. Snap. Fakes the handoff play action. Got a man open. He's able to bring it in. And Carson Bishop brings him down. But number five, Sammy Reese, gives the Bulldogs a first down. Nice little play there, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of expecting yeah, run. Yeah. They kind of just roll Play out. action, just found the full, I believe is the fullback that snuck out. Fullback or tight end. Who's number five? Yeah, Sammy Reese. A bunch of Reese on this team. I guess just. Yeah, I got some Reese's. It looks like three of them. Prathers as well. I believe there's two. Number seven, PJ Reese gets in the backfield, tailback position. Toss. Pitch out to the outside, trying to get outside. Good pursuit. He's making a few guys miss. And is brought down by four or five Wolverines, but does give them a positive yardage, probably three four yards. And off goes to number seven, P.J. Reese for Yale. I'm hoping these Wolverines are kind of settling down here in the second quarter defensively. You know, we, of course, I, I, that one was on special teams, the return there by the Bulldogs. So hopefully this Wolverine D kind of settles in here and, Comes up with a stop. Gain of three on the carry. Second down and seven for the Bulldogs. Second and seven as the Bulldogs are in. They've got, got some confusion. I bet we see a timeout. Yes, we do. So, a lot of confusion there by the Bulldogs. They couldn't get their formation set as they take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. So, we'll take a short break come back for the. Providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. 
Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. As the Bulldogs get ready to snap the football on second seven twins left. Quick throw out to Reese. He catches it and makes one guy miss. And Carson Bishop brings him from brings him down from behind. It will be short, but about what one two yard line. Yeah, it'll be first set of downs here, a new set of downs for the, for the Bulldogs. Looks like they're going to put them on the two-yard line. And after we've seen quite a few explosive drives, yeah, the Bulldogs have this inching towards the four-minute mark of this, this drive, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I believe they started with the football in the second quarter. Snap, keep quarterback it. keep, he'll go in the end zone untouched. So quarterback keep by number 24, Corn Prather. So he's able to bring that in or punch that in for the score. So it's seven minutes, 52 seconds left to play. The score is tied at 28. Uh, Bulldogs will have a chance to take the lead. Chance to take the lead. Line up a two-point conversion. Same formation we've seen a lot tonight. Tailback directly behind the quarterback in the gun. Receiver wide right, receiver wide right, left. Quick route, throws the out route, and is able to bring it in, but there is a flag. We do have a flag on the so play. Quick flag. The, the pass was complete to make the two-point conversion successful. There's a quick flag thrown out in that area. And a false start and by the offense. So that will back him up. They're going to have to try that again. We'll take the penalty as that does get backed up. And they're going to have to retry. Huddle up. Or waiting to play call from the coach. See jogs it in from the sideline. Twins right this time. Try to get him on the hard count. Drops back to throw. Looks to the right side. Now looks left. Now looking to scramble. Got a guy behind it, and he slipped up, so the Wolverines are able to contain him. Good pass rush by the Wolverines. They necessarily didn't get to him, but had the ends kind of get outside, uh, had good pressure up the middle, and then when he was forced to run, there was just no room and slipped up. So with 7.52 seconds left to play, we have a tie at Warrendale Stadium, 28-28. to We'll take a short break and come back for this Yale Bulldog kickoff. What you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com. Dr. Bell bring it in, hopefully find some room to run. He tries to get up the middle, makes one arm tackle miss, makes another guy miss, makes a leg tackle miss. Oh! For a second, I thought he was going to get through, but great, great return by Carson Bishop, making two, three Bulldogs miss. And it's brought down near midfield. Garber will take possession, first down and 10 at the 50-yard line. First and 10, Alex Chester in at the tailback position. Nick Nahara at wide right. Colton Steiner at wide left. Seth Smith at tight end. Dakota Martin, Jackson Wyman, Cooper Hughes pulling. Seals the edge, and Alex Chester with a good cutback. Quick throw, Seth Smith's wide open, and he brings it in. He'll score. 
It's a great play call. <laughs> As Trent Hibbs went in motion, it looks like the Bulldog defense, two guys went with them, and Seth Smith just from the tight end position, easy pitch and catch, <laughs> and he just walks into the end zone. I loved his effort there. I don't know. <laughs> He was sprinting. I don't know if he, he thought knew maybe. how open he was, but <laughs> at the end of that deal, he was sprinting. He wasn't going to let anybody catch him. I didn't see the, the motion, but the Yelled Bulldogs did bring one more, more, one more off the edge there. And so kind of what's happened there at this game, if you get past that initial line, kind of home free. Snap, draws back to throw, quick throw, and I believe that's Seth Smith again, and it is from the tight end position. So the completion, yeah, Brett Howard is Seth Smith for the quick explosive score for 50 yards, and then the short one for the two-point conversion to make the score 36 to 28. We'll take a short break and come back for the Wolverine kickoff. Dream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. The Wolverines are getting ready to kick off. Coach Savage's special teams unit getting the play call in. Got Simon Nahara. Looks like ready to kick. I, I think that's the wrong call, right? I don't know. I'm not going to try to critique it, but that just seems weird to me. Maybe it's the similar hand gesture, and that's where I'm getting confused. I'm not acting like I'm a genius <laughs> up here, so maybe I need to just quit, quit asking. There's a snap, quarterback keeper, no oh. rim to run. Trenton Hoops brings him down. Nice stop. Trevin Blazer in the tackle as well. Looks like it kind of got stretched out there, uh, maybe wobbling there on the far end, and uh, Hoops just came in and cleaned it up. Loss of four on the play, second down and 14 for you. Nice, uh, nice loss of five yards or four yards there. Makes him work behind the chains. Just six minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Second quarter is going a little bit quicker than the first quarter. It is, as of right now. <laughs> we're not to 100 yet, but <laughs> we're creeping up on it. Twins left, draws back to throw. Oh. Decides to tuck it and run, and he gets to the edge. A lot of positive yards. It cuts back instead of going out of bounds and finds two more yards. Well, I believe he got the first down. On the and he did. Knocked out of bounds by number 31, Colton D. Runs good for a Bulldog first down and 10 at the Garber 46-yard line. So good coverage, good original pressure, but just found found a little gap and got to the outside. The one thing I don't like, my personal rant. There you go. Let's hear it. Let's wait. I would we'll say wait. get on it's, the soapbox, but you're no, already no, too tall. No. Like You may jump out of the camera. So. <laughs> Snap, handoff, Got him, Wibling. Get, hang, hang on to that jersey. There we go. <laughs> Ankle Wibling went to the rodeo a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bulldog him. <laughs> no, my rant, I just, it's frustrating when somebody runs to the line of scrimmage that a quarterback or somebody, and, and then they stop at the last minute and try to cut back up. Uh, but. Try to make them feel it if they don't want to go out of bounds. That's what, to me, Oh, you're was, talking about quarterback, like, yeah, just looks kinda, like he's giving himself up type thing. And, and then he just stops and tries to get a few more yards. Let's go, 
snap. Draws. We're not alone. Bulldogs have a first down and 10 at the Grover 32 yard line. So out of the penalty, the Bulldogs will get a first down, make or uh, about the 32 yard line. Snap, fakes it to the tailback, rolls out, got a man open, and he brings it in near the sideline and tiptoes the sideline. And number 15, Connor Elliott, gets behind the Garber secondary and scores the touchdown for the Bulldogs. Kind of just rolled out to the left there. I guess it was maybe a boot action there and uh, had a guy wide open. Five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Bulldogs are going to try to tie it up with the Wolverines. The Wolverines uh, did kick to begin the game. Is that correct? That is, yes. Okay. The Bulldogs scored first. It would be really great if we could go down here and score with about 30 seconds to go. That would be nice. Snap rolls out to the right, looking to throw. Doesn't have any room. Tries to uh, thread the needle. and close. he complete that? He got it, yeah. My goodness. Number 22, tiptoes the sideline, Jesse Poole. And, Gets the two-point conversion, so the score 36 to 36 in the second quarter. 72 points. So. 72 points so far, and we're getting closer and closer to half a hundred in the first <laughs> half. So we'll take a short break and hope the Wolverine offense can keep this momentum going. Line. Alex Chester tries to get on, bobbles it, and is able to hop on top of it, thankfully, to give the Wolverines the ball at the 35-yard line. Wolverines going to take over here in the second quarter, just under five minutes to go. See if we can't drive down and kind of make a statement here right before halftime. Tied up, 36-36. Howry in the gun, Alex Chester to his right, twins left formation. Snap, fakes it to Carson Bishop. Oh, Chester got a little room. Try to get to the outside. Oh. Cuts back up and gets a gain of five. So second and five upcoming for the Wolverines. Kind of looked like there was an opening to the outside there, but Chester saw something we didn't. Kind of cut it back up. Nice gain, though, on that first down. Keep that clock running, just under four and a half minutes here. Same formation. S snap to Howry, another handoff to Ellix. That one's not, not so good. going anywhere. Kind of a bobbled snap there, it looked like. So it brings up third and five for the Wolverine offense with four minutes left to play in the half. Nick Nahara comes in the ball game. At the wide receiver position, gives us a trips right look. Howry waits a snap. Snap, looks right, looking deep. Now goes back to the left, makes one guy miss. Now trying to get upfield, and Cooper trying to find guys to block. Is able to brought down as there's two Bulldogs in on the tackle. Bring up a fourth and long here. They're uh, kind of putting it on Wacomas there, 36 to 6 uh, here in the second quarter. But I think everyone's kind of realized that OBA is, is somebody you better be aware of what's going on with them. Was that last week they beat Ceiling? That was two weeks two ago. Two weeks ago, yes, yeah. correct. Yeah, big win for them. You got Shattuck. They're in a close one with Warica, uh, 6 to 0. It's half there on that game. Ceiling, number four Ceiling, I believe, uh, 20 to 12 over Pond Creek. Yeah, then trying to see if there's any other scores that we can look at. Regent beat Summit Christian 52 to 0. I think that was last night. Crossing route oh. to Carson Bishop. He's got a little room. Get up field. And he does. Thank goodness gets up field, makes a few guys miss. So fourth and ten, and the Wolverines get 20 in the first down. 
Nice protection there by the offensive line. Gave the quarterback enough time. Good throw, good catch. Nice gain, moved the chains. Just, uh, just under three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Like Timberlake uh, in Class C is taking care of Tyrone, 52-0. to zero. Ooh. That game looks like it will end at halftime. <laughs> Winoka is up on Buffalo, 38-8. to eight. Snap to Howard. He draws back to throw again. Bishop again across the middle, and it looks like two Bulldogs ran into each other. And Carson Bishop will score. And it looks like we got some extracurricular stuff going behind the play. Going to learn from that mistake. We will wait to see how this is set. Looks like we'll be on the kickoff. The two point conversion will still be from the two. Trips right, formation, hoops in motion. Snap, rolls out. Ooh, no room. Now he fakes it, makes a guy miss. Try to get brought out from behind, and Brett Howard will be tackled from behind. Two point conversion is no good. So score is 42 to 36. We'll take a short break and come back for this Wolverine kickoff in the last two and a half minutes of this half. Additional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day. VIP for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to... Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. After the penalty, the Wolverines will kick off from the 25-yard line. Nahra with the onside kick, takes a good bounce, high bounce, but able to bring it down is number eight, who is brought down near the 40-yard line. It was Braden Hodges. Yo, know, Bulldogs going to be starting here on the Wolverine 41, 42-yard line here. Bulldogs take possession first down and 10 at the North 41-yard line. First and 10 from the 41 yard line. The Wolverines, two minutes and 23 seconds left to play at the half. It would be big to get a stop because we do get the kickoff. We received the kickoff after halftime. First time we've seen this formation tonight from the Bulldogs. Snap, yeah. quarterback keeper. Oh, good pressure, but he does find a way to find a gap. Nice gain of 15 yards there on that little quarterback keeper. As Dylan Dalton comes into the ball game. Getting close to the red zone are the Bulldogs. Shotgun formation. There's a snap, rolls right, looking to throw. Out route to number seven, Reese, and he gets the first down. They really got those out routes or those. Yeah, good timing. Good timing on yeah. all of those. I don't know if they've missed one yet this evening. Guy turns around and quarterback's got the ball there waiting on him. Dude being out of bounds. The clock will stop in a minute 50. No, will run. A minute 55 left to play. It's a minute 45 now as they break the huddle. Tried to get him on the hard count, does not. Rolls out to the left side, looking for the out route again. This time, good coverage there by Carson Bishop. Quarterback makes a few guys miss, though. Scores through the middle and will get the first down inside the five. Kind of rolled out to the left there looking for number seven, uh, P.J. Reese, and didn't see it, so he just kind of 
took it and ran and nice gain on there. A first down and goal at the two yard line. Same formation, a minute left to play in the first half. Snap, rolls out the right, right out right yep. again. Yep. Oh, good coverage. Oh, and he's able to bring it in again. So they're finding success with that out route on that drive. Uh, and is able to give the Bulldogs a lead 44 to 42. Uh, we might as well stick with you because we're going to take a break during half time. We only got about a minute left. So just kind of been first half. Yeah. First half tonight has just kind of been a been a little bit of a shootout. I mean, obviously you could just look at the scoreboard and see that, but it's both offensive units are finding success. Um, looks like Wolverines are having a little more success, just a little more balanced success, I guess you yeah. could say. Um, but Yale's seeing some success with their passing game, their quarterback, quarterback run, scrambles. They're able to get some first downs. But they do have the lead here at 44-42. to 42. Yeah, Yale's just done a really good job uh, answering and – and we, I feel like the Wolverines kind of slowed them down here a little bit in the second quarter. Um, but, you know, make some adjustments here at half and see if we can't just kind of get a few stops here and, and let the Wolverine offense take over. And uh, But like you mentioned earlier, the quarterback and number seven, they just kind of having their day. First half. Let's see what the Bulldogs here and then kick it out. Ooh. Ooh, in and out of the hands of Chester. Get on it. He got on it Oof. right at the 40-yard line. With the low low kick, yeah. it'd be nice to catch it clean and see if he had room, but yeah. thankfully we're able to jump on it as it was mishandled. A minute left in the first half. Howard alone in the gun. Twins left. Wolverine's gonna have about I guess one minute, two timeouts here, see what they can do. Snap, looking to throw. Seth Smith on the out route. Ooh, able to bring it in and is Pushed out of bounds after the short game, or about a game of five, yeah. Knocked out of bounds by number two, Blake Perry for the Bulldogs. Gain of five on the play, second down and five for Garber. So quick play, gets positive yards for the Wolverines, four seconds off the clock. Clock stops due to it being out of bounds, so now we go to a trips right. Tied in over there on the left side, Smith. About time to... Call his number. He's been kind of – here we go. Oh, right up. oh we got a screen. And Carson makes one guy miss. He's in open field. This is where we like to see Carson run. He makes another guy miss. Gets another cut. Oh, brought down by the shoestring there near the 30-yard line. Number 15, Connor Elliott, uh, missed him at first. Get the ball. They're, they're going to walk back over there. Got to stop for the chains. Clock now will start, but – Wolverine's back. Oh, he went off the field. Oh, Brett looking for room to run and will be brought down. We'll probably see a timeout here. I don't know. I was watching near the sideline of the Bulldogs, and uh, I mean, he was jogging. Probably would have got off the field, but he stopped about the numbers as the ball was snapped and just walked towards the sideline. Probably had no impact on the play, but. Just me looking Bloody. through maroon goggles up here. Yeah. I was just hoping the far referee might might give us some positive yardage. So Coach Hughes calls timeout. 33 seconds left to play. Wolverine offense is threatening as we've already gotten half the yardage needed um, in the 27 seconds of this drive. Still have, what, one timeout left? Yeah, we'll have one timeout after this one here. Okay. Uh, you know, I kind of looking back at that screen, I think – I can say this because he can take it, but I think old Jackson Weibling is going to wish he had that one back. I mean, he was there, and some didn't feel right, so he turned around and looked. And, and, uh, but if he would have had his eyes upfield, that probably would have went to the house there. But Yeah, so, I mean, you, you've done it a lot, I would assume, on screen yeah. passes. Is it just based off yeah, a you, count? Is that yeah, kind of – just you kind of have that feeling. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just a timing. Timed up, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> – Twins right, one receiver wide left, snap, looks to the right. Good protection. Trying to find the crossing route. It's not there, Brett. Cuts, makes one guy miss, cuts back. I mean, my God. And is brought down for the sack. And I believe we're going to have to call another timeout to stop the clock with 23 seconds left to play in the first half. And that will be the last timeout for the Wolverines. His third and 12 is upcoming. So hopefully we uh, – I mean, this still, like we said, it doesn't take long for this offense to to produce some points, but 
being down two right before the half, if you're trying to play that, I guess you call it two for one situation. You get one here and get the ball back after halftime. The way this game is going. It might be who has the ball last. Yes. <laughs> So to give us one and kind of give us that cushion before halftime could be vital. Yeah. Be a third and long here for the Wolverines when we come back out of this timeout. Yeah, I mean, I assume with this amount of time left, probably four down territory. Fourth down hasn't hasn't necessarily. Well, I guess I was going to say hadn't scared us. Now as we were at, we've been <laughs> able to get, yeah fourth and eighteen. Yeah. We've we got it fourth and ten. We've gotten it. So I would think we're be able we'd be able to. We would go for it if we didn't get it. Issue is now with no timeouts. We got to hustle the ball if we're brought down inbounds. Looking for Seth. Come on, Seth. Find find some room across the middle. Snap. He's looking for him. He's oh, had a step. Throws toward the sideline and out of bounds. Pressure up the middle as he's forced to scramble out, uh, but does throw the ball away. Um, so we'll give the Wolverine offense another chance here on fourth and twelve with. 18 seconds left to play in the half. Smith kind of came open late there down the middle. Yeah. He called it, uh, but quarterback's getting a little pressure and just got rid of the ball. And timeout. now we have Yell. You only had one timeout left, so they're going to call timeout after seeing the formation from the Wolverine offense. And uh, we'll, with fourth and 12 upcoming, I still think, I mean, Wolverines have proven tonight that they've had some pretty key key play calls on fourth down. Hope to see another one here dialed up by Coach Hughes. Uh, and that's kind of, I feel like it's been some of our more explosive plays that have been on fourth down here. Yeah, uh, they have tonight. Yeah, we've, like we've already talked about, fourth and 18, fourth and 10. Uh, the down marker really hadn't affected us. Yeah. Tonight. So this is kind of just a big play, we need good protection. I assume we're going to drop back to pass. Uh, I mean, seeing success across the middle, just the way Yale defense has played, I mean, they're going to press coverage. They're going to be near the line of scrimmage. If we can just get some time, allow Carson Bishop or maybe Seth Smith, Nick Nahra a little time just to get a step. After the timeout, fourth down and 12 for Gerber. It's just hard when they're sending more, probably one more. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Colton Steiner in motion, snap, looks to throw. Colton Steiner across the middle, good coverage, throws it back across the middle. Oh, oh. just outside the outstretched hands. Who's that intended to? Nick Nahra? Yeah, Nicholas Nahra. So Bulldogs take over with 13 seconds left to play. It'd be interesting to see how aggressive you get. Yeah, no timeouts. I don't know. Something where maybe you just do a short pass and see what happens or this quarterback video, keeper. If this was a video game, I'd go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be a very good coach. <laughs> go four verts yeah. and just launch that yeah. thing up there. <laughs> maybe run one across the middle. <laughs> Looks like they're going to. Maybe take a knee. Yeah. Take the lead to half here. There's Snap. He will take a knee. Uh, so that will bring us to halftime at Warrendale Stadium. The Bulldogs have the lead 44 to 42 in a first half full of fireworks from the offensive side of the ball as they both just traded scores back and forth. Uh, explosive nights from both both offensive units. Um, and look to look to the Wolverines to uh, look to Wolverines here going to halftime, make a few adjustments and Kind of, I mean, just put ourselves in a better situation maybe on the defense side of the ball in the second half. Yeah, we 44-42, uh, that's a lot of points put up, both sides of the ball. Uh, those first three weeks we did really good at making adjustments at halftime. So hopefully we can do that and come out here and uh, we will get the ball to begin the second half. But Wolverines go down and score and then uh, see if the defense can't get a stop. Yep, yep. So we'll take a break as it is halftime and come back for this third quarter and hope to see the Wolverines kind of take over here in the second half. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB.
VIP for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local... ...serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items, located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills for doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit gopioneer.com for more information. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Next and Deuce of Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. 
Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items, located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information.
dream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Squirtle.tv. Find out more at Squirtle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items, located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app. 
available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. 
Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this homework through customized training. Now, imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. The second half is about to get underway. Wolverines will receive the kickoff as Carson Bishop waits for it. Little onside kick towards O'Chester. Carson Bishop catches it on the run, looks for room, gets the outside, tries to bounce it back towards the middle, makes gets through one arm tackle, and then three, four, five Bulldogs are, are in on it to bring him down near the 40 yard line. Whew, you wore me out. That was a lot of stuff happening in a hurry. I was jogged back up here. There was a lot of festivities over halftime, I felt like. I needed to get together at my house, so. Oh, okay. So uh, we'll put it to good use and pay the people back that spent hundreds of dollars on the floor. <laughs> it really wasn't hundreds, but. All right, well, I'll be there. What time does this start? <laughs> <laughs> we got the OSU game at 2.30. Uh, Dinner later. Screen. Snap, screen pass. Wide open. Got room to run. Give him a block. Wide open. Get to the uh. outside. Oh, ooh. Brought down, but does give the Wolverines a gain of 20 for right, the first down. Two. Had three blockers out there and one defender, and he made the, <laughs> made the tackle on us. Those screens have been pretty good for us yeah. throughout most of the evening here. Carson Bishop in motion. Hand, hand off to Carson. He's trying to find room on the nice outside. Blazer. Good some good blocks by Blazer. I believe that's Seth Smith sealing the edge as well. Yeah. Yeah, Seth Smith. Blazer helped him seal that edge and then went up and got another one. Kind of looked like they were going to stretch that out and kind of keep us to a short gain. And Blazer got that block on there and really helped set that edge. Snap, drops back to throw. Oh, it's tripped up. Fine. Nice Seth Smith kick. on the cross route. Good ball. Nice catch. Get, make sure he got his feet in. I thought we were going for Blazer across the middle, but he kind of got tripped up and then went to his second look. Seth Smith's able to bring it down. So you call it progressions? You're going through your progression reads? I believe so. I was looking at my hand to figure out how I got cut. Yeah. Hand off to Carson Bishop, and he's brought down for a gain of two. Wolverine's. Came out and had that first loss and then kind of moved the ball here pretty handedly on this drive. Be looking at second and eight, getting the play. Heavier set formation. Snap. El Chester had a really good first half on the ground. Gets the handoff and gets tripped up. Kind of makes one guy miss on the leg tackle and gets a gain of five. Kind of looked like they went back to that pull and they pulled the right guard. He kicked out, and I think the tight end or the fullback had filled up inside. Nice run. Next door sideline, same formation. Snap. Brett Howery fakes it, quarterback keeper, as he tries to get to the outside, tries to fake the cut inside now, gets the outside, gets out of bounds. Close to a first down for the Wolverines. 
Be really close. I'm going to say he got it. They're going to go ahead and give it to us. There we go. That's out of bounds at the 19 yard line. The run is good for another Global Wolverine. First down and 10. So, Brady, if you had to guess, what what do we have to score in the, this half? I'm going to say we start getting some stops here in okay, the second I half. I like it. So, you're going to say zero. We're, we're going to end up in the 70s. Well, we've got to at least get it one, yeah. We're going to end up in the 70s. And up goes to number 10, Trenton Hooks for the Wolverines. Back up by number 43. One of the local leven, legends here, Mark in Harmon, in the nine. booth. About to put him on the mic, let him get what he thinks about this ball game going. <laughs> he, he just likes throwing a little punch and leaving. <laughs> so they will hit and run <laughs> by the legend as he crawls back up to the top of the press box. <laughs> Snap, option look. Oh, option pass. Drops back to throw. Oh, Carson Bishop has a step. Flag, There's a flag. flag oh, looks like a lineman. Can't yeah. tell you who that is, but downfield. Cooper, maybe, yep. There's going to be a, yeah. Sorry, if you hear a little pain in my voice, that got frog yeah, a little he, bit. Yeah, he did that to me in the, for the first quarter here. <laughs> yeah, but you got muscle on you. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a horse over here laughing at that. <laughs> I don't think I've worked out since uh, last year with you, Fletch. <laughs> you and T. Yeah, I got bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little sore, so this, this ain't for me. Huh? Those, those stadiums, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> this, this left knee, it pops out over the step. I think I'm only 36, too. <laughs> Snap. Similar play. Nick Naraz does have a step, throws up for grab. Caught it. Brings it in. Does It'll he get in the end zone? Bounce at the one. I don't think he got in, but it oh, good ball. ball at the one. Yeah, good catch, too. Who's that, Nick? Nick, yep. Nicholas. Pretty good night for Nicholas. Put the Wolverines down there on the one. Play call, first and goal from the one. Heavier formation brings the lead. that Seth Smith in the game. Trent Hoops there, tight end. Blazer at fullback. Alex Chester at the tailback position. Snap, nice. hand off, Blazer just punches it in. It looks like we got a pancake in the back side of the end zone by Cooper Hughes. That's what you do. You don't need to say anything. You just do your talking with your play and <laughs> put him on his back. Coach Reed, do you ever look over there and say, that's my, that's our house? That, it's nice. That's a nice little gym over there. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely – Definitely, I guess you'd say blessed with the best yeah. facilities here at Garber. I think they were giving some tours. Maybe some alumni wanted to see those locker rooms. So. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice facilities and uh, can't definitely can't complain about it. Just talk about how how nice it looks. And words won't do it justice as the two-point conversion is good. It looks like Seth Smith on an out route yeah. is able to bring it in. So the Wolverines will take the lead 50 to 44 with eight minutes and 49 seconds left to play. We'll take a quick break, come back for the Wolverine kickoff. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people. 
and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. Welcome back to Warren Dell Stadium. As the Wolverine kickoff unit gets ready, Carson Bishop has the ball placed sideways on the tee. This horizontally, and the onside oh. kick, give it a good bounce. Oh. oh! Just one more hop. But the Wolverines my got on it there just a yard too soon. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we had the, uh, it's a little throwback, but as an OU fan, we had the OU Oregon Ducks officiating crew. That would be okay, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to that game last week, Fletch? <laughs> <laughs> I sadly did, yes. I was in yeah. attendance for that. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't expect a whole lot when it comes to OSU football, and then when we do well, I'm excited. <laughs> Well, you're the opposite of me. I expect a lot, yeah. and then then I'm disappointed. Yeah. So, now nah, I expect uh, I expect to bounce back week yeah, this they'll week. Yeah, will be fine. Is, is OU? They're playing. Uh, are they? Are they off this week? No, TCU, I believe. Yeah, TCU. And then OSU's got Baylor. Who? Baylor. That's a big time game. That is a good. That's going to be a big game. Hopefully, we can. Is it at play? At? Yeah, it's at Baylor. Okay. But last year, that game didn't end well there in the Big 12 championship, so. You going? You making the trip? Absolutely not. <laughs> Twins right formation for the Bulldogs. Snap. Quick throw. Oh, Out man. Trees. Can't get to him as he's bouncing around. Go. There Good we job. go. Carson Bishop able to finally get to him. Brings him down for a big loss on first down. That ball was throwing. Yes. <laughs> he was still running east and turned around, and then just the nick of time, that ball was there. Oh, Carson Bishop comes up. Loss of six on the play. Second down. Walk it off. And 16 for the Bulldogs. Looks like we may be dealing with a little bit of a cramp issue, I believe. So we're going to take a short break and come back after the timeout. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Back on Garber Wolverine's TV with the second and 16. Quarterback alone in the gun. Play action, looking to throw deep, and does. Heaves it up towards the sideline and thrown way out of bounds. So falls incomplete, bringing up third and long. Be a big down here for the Wolverines. See if we can't kind of get this momentum. Took over there in that second half and just kind of moved the ball down the field. Put up six points or eight points, I guess we did. And... Uh, be a big, good, good opportunity for this defense to get a stop, put the offense back on the field. Receiver wide right, receiver wide left. Tap behind the quarterback. There's a snap, looking to throw. Goes it towards the sideline. He has a step. Oh, oh good thrown ball. And Connor Elliott's able to bring it in for the touchdown. Ah. Aired, aired it out. And first, first, I thought it was going to be a little bit over the Yeah, when it left his hands, I thought it was, it was going to be. But Elliott tracks it down. So now big two-point conversion coming up after the long, well, third and long turns into a long 60-yard touchdown. And two-point conversion could give the Bulldogs the lead back early in this second half. So 
Snap, rolls left, looking for him on the out routes. And he dives towards the pylon and does Make get it. it. God, tried to get to the ad out route. We saw a lot in the first half. Well covered, but it scrambles and gets into the end zone. He was looking for little P.J. Reese there on the little out route, and I think he got bumped up with Carson. And uh, I, when that happened, I think he decided to run it on in. But they were looking there for number seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As they have most of the game. <laughs> So, just kind of a little more of what we saw in the first half. Uh, both groups, though, I mean, came out of halftime. Their first offensive play went for a loss, and then bounced back yeah. and found ways to put the ball on the tee. Always got to set up on these uh, kickoffs. You never know what's going to happen. With yeah. These guys. Kick that one Similar deep. Similar kick. Carson's able to bring it in, find a Good. block. Oh. oh, makes one guy miss. Ah. Brought down just past the 40-yard line, so about the 43, 44-yard line. We got first and 10 for the Wolverines. Some good blocking going on on that last, on that KOR. Yep. Little acronym action up here in the booth. Yeah, I guess that's what we called it back in the day. <laughs> Harmon, KOR, KO. Snap, hand off to Alex Chester, and he's brought oh, down, down from behind yeah. by Sammy yeah. Reese. Just came off the backside there, just chased him down. Tackled in the backfield by number five, Sammy Reese. No gain on the play. Second down and ten for Barber. Back to heavier so Blazer in the backfield. Snap. Looking to throw, makes a guy miss, cuts up field, trying to get to the outside. Oh, gets brought down near the sideline. Quarterback Scramble does give him positive yardage though. And they'll bring up a third and about six. Really didn't see anything he was looking for downfield, so decided to take the ball and run. Nice gain of four yards. Gain of four on the carry, third down and six for the Wolverines. Now Carson Bishop back on the field, the receiver position. Trenton Hoops at the tailback position directly behind Howry. Have Blazer and Smith in at the tight ends. Line consists of the normal group, Weibling, Dakota Martin, and Cooper Hughes. Snap, drops back to throw. Scrambles again. He's got room to run. There's nobody over the left side as he's trying to race down the sideline and does get out of bounds after the first down. 15, 20 yard gain there on the scramble. Put the Wolverines on the 38 of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs 38. Have your said no receivers in right now for the Wolverines. Snap, handoff to Blazers. He lowers his shoulder and gets upfield. Handoff goes to number 32, Trevin Blazer for the Wolverines. For a gain of three. Yeah. Tackle by number 77, Lucas Reese. Same formation, quickly back to the ball. He has three on the carry, second down and seven. Snap, hand off to Alex Chester as he tiptoes by the line of scrimmage and then lowers his shoulder through two or three Bulldogs. And we'll take it. Another three yard gain. Yep. Kind of looked like the Cooper Hughes on the right side there blocked down and doubled. And Brings up third down and four for the Wolverine. Got some movement, but there were some more guys still in the hole. Going to more spread looks. We got twins left, twins right. How are you alone in the gun? Ooh. Batted down. Looks like we're trying to go to the slant to Seth Smith and batted down right as it left his hands. 34. Brought an extra guy off the Devin edge Shelley there. brought it down or batted it down. Fourth and four. Threatening in the Yale territory. Go, 
waits to snap is Howry. There it is. Looks like quarterback keeper now looks to throw. Throws it up to Nick Nahar. Oh, yeah, did he, he get a foot him, in? But I don't know if he got a foot down. They're going to say he's out. Oh, out of bounds. God, pretty good catch. It was hard to see which foot. If his left foot would have got down, I think he would have been in, but I think it was right. I think they're calling this incomplete. It's weird that they would let yeah. a false start go because yeah. usually you can't accept it. This will be interesting to see what they do here. They should have blown the whistle, I believe, if it was on the Bulldogs. It was on the Bulldogs. Legal shit. So penalty's going to be declined. So big turnover by the Wolverine defense. Much needed after the turnover on downs. Didn't take long. Snap, Wolverine offense back on the field. Howie's trying to get to the outside. Outruns the defensive lineman. Got blockers out in front. Cuts back and then is brought down from behind. Got a gain of eight or nine yards. There's a lot of, a lot of speed, a lot of weight coming this way. A lot of guys out front. Second and short after the... Quarterback run. Snap, hand off the car. Oh, good quarterback keep. Good read by Brett Howries. He tries to get to the outside and will be brought down. But I believe he got enough for the first. Yeah. Good read. Tackle by number seven, PJ Reese. But the run is good for a Carver Wolverine. First down and 10. Move the chains here. Clock's running quite a bit more here in this third quarter. We're now under five minutes. Wolverine still trailed the Bulldogs by two. Did, but uh, <laughs> he just didn't have enough to beat the uh, PJ Reese there around the outside. Snap, pulling hand guards. off Carson Bishop. Yep, yep. got Good. line up ahead and able to punch it in. So Carson Bishop scores the touchdown for the Wolverines, give the Wolverines back 56-52 to 52 now here at Warrendale Stadium. Two-point conversion upcoming. Offense waits the call from Coach Hughes. Howry alone in the gun. And the lay of game on the two point conversion. Yeah, so like didn't get the snap off. Kind of felt like that one was taking a while to get going. Delay a game called against the Wolverines. This is going to scoot it back. This two-point conversion is going to be uh, from the seven-yard line now. Steiner in motion. There's a snap. Looks to the right side, Smith. across the middle. Smith, Smith on the out route. Oh, and now the hands of the Got Bulldog. Oh, and he's still oh. bobbling. He bring it in. No. Oh. <laughs> Second time tonight we've seen some bobble on the two-point conversion. I thought he was gonna be able to bring that yeah. one in, but looks like he just fell out of bounds before he finally controlled it. So I feel like they were looking for him the minute that play developed. Uh, had good luck with that, and he was right there, but he said just kind of couldn't hold on to that one. Yep, so we're going to take a short break after the Wolverine touchdown. Wolverines are up four with under four minutes left to play in the third. Is it time for your school or? Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV as Simon Nahral kicks towards the sideline and that will go out of bounds. Yeah. 
So the Yale Bulldogs will take over, hoping the Garber defense feeds off that momentum after forcing yeah. the turnover on the last possession. Wolverines are going to hold on to a four-point lead here with just four minutes to go in the third quarter. I would be curious to know how many touchdowns we have and how many successful two points we have and them as well. Kind of where the where the uh, yeah. difference is. It goes out of bounds. Bulldogs will take possession first down and ten. We might be even on the touchdowns, but got a few more two points yeah. probably. First and ten on thirty eight. Tries to get him on the hard count. Ooh, high snap, able to bring it in. Quarterback keep keeper. It. He gets the outside, Nick Nahra is able to shove him out of bounds, but quarterback is able to give the Bulldogs a gain of six or seven on first down. Been doing a lot of options with that quarterback. And kind of, Seems to want to keep it. <laughs> Ball goes number seven. Some third down magic right here. Get, get the defense off the field. Let the offense go score again. Snap. Right the middle. Oh, ball, ball on the ground. Ball on the ground. Get on it. That was a great hit. I don't know if that was – somebody was in there. I think this is going to be – I think the Wolverines had the ball. I think the I Bulldogs think, got on it, but – I think – Yeah. We may have came out with it. They're going to give it – Met in the backfield by number 75, Dylan Dalton for the Wolverines. Now we have a flag on the play. Late. Now we have a flag. Sideline? Sideline warning, or is yeah. it an actual? No penalty yards for a warning. Fourth and six here? Yep. Go. Big defense, stop by this yes. defense. Got the four-point lead. Wolverine faithful getting loud from the stands. Snap, drops back, get a little pressure. pressure. Yep, throws it off his back foot. That's incomplete. Job. Yes, good pressure there by the Wolverine defense. Good job by the Wolverine D bringing the pressure. <laughs> Forcing that ball, get out of there quick. So Wolverine offense takes back over, looking to keep this positive momentum going. Gearing the end of the third quarter, low snap, fakes it, looks to throw. We got Deep. hoops over. Oh, no, Seth it. Smith open, and he brings it in in the bread basket, and we'll score. Yeah. Woo! Harry saw a little yeah, pressure, yeah. kind of threw off his back foot, but it was on the money as Seth Smith sneaks past the Bulldogs secondary. You don't ever want to call a tight end an underrated player, but, you know, just, man, he's done well this year. Oh, you know, man. A couple weeks ago he kind of came out and had a great game, and man, it's almost like you need a play to be made, you just look for Smith. Yeah. One of the kids, you knew, I mean, you knew you expected him to take that next step after last season, but, I mean, for how big of a step he has made, he's a huge factor. There's a snap, roll the right. Howie looks to run, cuts back up, and is brought down short, short. but – that doesn't take away. Big stop by the Garber defense. Wolverine scores in a hurry. Now the score is 62 to 52 in favor of the Wolverines. We'll take a quick break and be back for the kickoff. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. The Turquoise Boutique offers a wide variety of fashion, accessories, and gift items. We are located in downtown Enid at 101 North Grand Avenue. Check us out on Facebook, TTB VIP, for all of our newest arrivals. We love people, fashion, and the Wolverines. 
Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is... Welcome back to Garber Wolverine TV as Simon Naharal gets ready to kick the ball off for Garber. Low kick, get a good bounce, get a good bounce, let it go, let it go, let it go. Short blow. <laughs> So it will be short as the Wolverines tried to get the onside, but the Bulldogs will take over. Defense with back-to-back -back stops, looking to keep it going. Bulldogs will take possession, first down and 10 at the Garber 49-yard line. Having a little meeting here with the referees. Kind of trying to decide, I guess, what re-kick or just take over at that point. We're going to get the ball on the Garber 49. Snap. Fakes Fake the handoff. Got a man open. Throws it up. Tries to go for the deep ball, though. And it falls incomplete. Good job by Blazer staying home over there and – Really not letting him go. If Blazer wouldn't have been there, he would have probably took off running on that one. Kind of forced him to get rid of the ball, throw it out of bounds. Just uh, two and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. The Bulldogs come back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, twins right. Second and ten. There's snap, drops back to throw. Across the middle, behind him. Ooh, good coverage bear there by the secondary. Carson Bishop, nice play there, breaking up the play. We're gonna bring the Bulldogs back to third and ten. Come on, defense, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, 31 Colton Deeds. He's a small guy, but he likes to make some plays. Oh, yeah. He likes to be out in the those, action. <laughs> I see him out there, those big boys. <laughs> he gets up there. Oh, there we go. Move him back. Three snap penalty on the Bulldogs. Third and 10 turns into third and 15 now. I've been there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Brings up third down and 15. Be interesting to get this stop here. We'll see what they do. Yeah, I hope they get some more pressure on the quarterback. That seems to have been different there here. There it is. Get oh. to him. Oh, makes one Missed miss. Him. Now he's got some room to run. Get to him, Carson. Lowers Ooh. the shoulder and is brought down. Good Hard hit. hit near the sideline, right near the first down marker. See where the referee spots it. He's going to lay him short. I think he's going to lay him up short. That was good. <laughs> Bishop, he came in there like a missile. Oh, they're going to wave that on? Oh. Okay. He must have barely got it. Yeah. It was close and a major hit yeah, I like the <laughs> along hit. the side. Coach Parker, he quit reaching. <laughs> You probably weren't as strong as Jackson, though. No. So. <laughs> Snap, drops back to throw roll this right. time, roll out underneath oh, nice. route. And Blazer's there and brought him down right at the uh, line of scrimmage, maybe two yard gain. The Wolverine defense really played better in the second half. You kind of mentioned the pressure. I think that's really helped them quite a bit here, bringing a little bit more pressure. But here we are again, third and eight. As look what it's going to be for the Bulldogs. Just a minute left to go in the third quarter. Third and eight. Oh, ball oh. to the ground. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Oh. Mishandled snap. For it. I believe the center's on it. But that will bring up fourth down. 
Ball on the ground, recovered by the Bulldogs. Fourth and eight here. Fourth down and eight. Tell you what, we could get a stop here and go down and score. Kind of take the air out of the Bulldogs. Yeah, so got to feel good going in the fourth or down the stretch. Wonder if they'll just let this play clock wind down and kind of talk about this fourth down. Nope. Leave the huddle. Look, as they look towards sideline, I don't think they're going to snap this one. They're going to talk about this. Yeah. So uh, third quarter comes to close. Third quarter, big quarter for the Wolverines as they uh, hold them to one touchdown and put up, what, three touchdowns? Now, I, the issue being is, which I know I'm kind of nitpicking, but if you're the center and you have your hand on the ball, you can't take off. Quarter, I'm guessing the quarterback touched it. Oh, uh, okay, I got you, I got you. I kind of thought that same thing for a minute. Yeah, it just looked a little awkward. So, But third quarter comes to the end, big quarter for the Wolverines. They went from being down two to up ten. We'll take a short break and come back for this fourth quarter at Warrendale Stadium. Excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the... ...was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines... At fourth quarter. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. It's fourth and eight is upcoming as we enter the fourth quarter. Snap, gets out, looking to throw. Nice play. And good play. Good coverage by Carson Bishop. Bats it down with his right hand. And the Wolverines will take over at the 38-yard line. Kind of just see that one there by the defense of reading that quarterback and knew where the ball was going to go to number seven. Made a heck of a play on that. Bring the Wolverine offense back to the field here. Yeah, looking for more points. Shotgun formation, Elk Chess going to have to get the snap off. Timeout. Coach Hughes going to have to call timeout. A little confusion on the formation as he takes timeout. We'll take one with him and come back for the – actually, just scratch that. Let's just stick with it. <laughs> so, uh, big stop again. Defense looks a lot better in the second yeah. half. Uh, we talked about the pressure, kind of getting the quarterback thrown off his back foot. Um and it's allowed the offense to offense keep rolling. Yeah, put, scoring. Yeah, put points on the board, and now you see this 10-point advantage for the Wolverines with 11 minutes and 10 seconds left to play. Yeah, I'd, I'd just really like to see this offense move the ball down, take three or four minutes off the clock, maybe more. Uh, go ahead and score. And kind of like I said, you get up by 16, five, six minutes ago in the fourth quarter, I kind of think it'll take it out. First down, Ooh, pretty big hit by yards, Trevor Blazer. Yards. Yeah. A yard short, maybe the first down here. <clears throat> Keep the clock running though, like you're you're asking for. <laughs> Same formation. They're still Dan defense standing up. I'd... Oh, quarterback keep trying to get to the outside and does beats him to the outside and gets out of bounds. Quarterback keeper number eleven, Brett Howry for the Wolverines. I'll move the chains, give the Wolverines the first down. Just crossed the 50-yard line here. With still got ten and a half minutes to go in the first fourth quarter. Wolverines going to look over, get the play, stay in that same heavy formation. Snap, hand off to Blazer up the middle. He lowers his shoulder, trying to get positive yard. Gets about. Four on the play. Looks like Coach Hughes is reading your mind. You are thinking very similar right here. I don't know. <laughs> kind of put this defense to sleep here. Maybe sneak one by him and throw a ball here in a minute and see what happens. Snap, hand out to Alex, he's makes gone. one miss, he's gone. Yep, you are right. You said it first. He cuts back up. Uh, oh, thought he was going to beat him to the edge. I was right there with you. 
<laughs> he hit that hole and he hit it. Spoke just a little too yeah. soon, I guess. So Yale's going to call a timeout. His defense may got a little winded. Uh, Wolverines are threatening. We'll go ahead and take a short break with them and come back with the last 10 minutes of this ballgame. Athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email. They told not to have. Welcome back to Garber Wolverines TV. After timeout, first and 10 near the red zone. Got Trent Hoops in the tailback position. Carson Bishop wide left. Snap, handoff to Hoops. He finds a little bit of room. Oh, just threatening. I feel like every run we're getting some room. And Mass substitution by the Bulldog defense. Oh, we might have a false start on the offense here, right side. I think Smith was a little eager to go on that one. Back us up a little bit. That's all right. We'll run some more time. Yeah. Take it down at six. We can get our if we can get our clock guy to start it. That'd be there. We <laughs> go. <laughs> Snap rolls out right. Doesn't have any room. Looks back left. He's going back. Just tuck it. Tuck it. Tuck it. And brought down. Big loss. Yeah. So that'll bring up third and long. Down in the backfield by number thirty-four, Devin Shelley. Third down and 19. Brings out more receivers in this set. Trips rides. We're near eight and a half minutes left. Maybe we're setting ourselves up for another one of those fourth and 19. Yeah, touchdown there we throws. go. So now you gotta give him give him a few jabs before you go <laughs> for the knockout. Mark Harmon taught me that. I've been taking boxing lessons from him. No, he just deep throw. It. Oh, falls incomplete. Brings up fourth and long. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left to play. Taking some time here to get the play. Wonder if we'll, oh, nope, there goes Harry. Got to get out there. Same formation. Nope. Carson stands in the backfield. Got to get the playoff. Get close. Steiner in motion. Snap. Looks to throw. Carson Bishop. So oh, Carson Bishop. Oh. Uh, maybe a flag. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Thought maybe we get pass interference down the sideline. Really good coverage if it wasn't pass interference, and the Bulldogs will take over with eight minutes and 14 seconds left to play, down 10. Wolverine defense will take a comeback out to the field here. 
see if we can't get another stop. Told Book out of half, I said, no more. That's what you gave me a pep talk? I said, you can give up one more. And they, Looks like we got back. Oh, hits Reese on the out route. He's trying to make guy miss and does. Gives the stiff arm. He's trying to beat him to the sideline. Good pursuit by Dylan Dalton, bringing him down from behind is P.J. Reese with a great one-on-one -on -one move there on the court. First time I think we've called his number in the second half. Bulldogs lead the huddle. Twins right. Recent motion, hands, oh, hands it to off. him. He Cut tries to back, find Smith. a hole, nice. kind of stretches it out. Jackson Wyman brings him down out of bounds. A gain of what, six maybe? Yeah, gain of six or seven. Gain of five on the run, second down and five. Tries to get the hard count. This time hands it off to tell back. He lowers his shoulder, and I believe there's yes. three or four Wolverines. He'll be close That'd to a first short, down. short, I'm hoping. We're going to go ahead and wave oh, it on. Oh, yep, gave him the first down. Run will give the Bulldogs a first down and 10 at the Garber 37 yard line. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Snap throws the little quick out route uh -huh. out there to Reese. He's trying to make one man miss. Carson Bishop able to bring him down, but he will give the fir give the yell the first down. And now inside the red zone. They do like to find the old number seven. P.J. Reese. <laughs> Snap, hand on the tailback, hoops in immediately on the line of scrimmage, good tackle. Brings up second and 10 as we are getting close to the five and a half, five minutes, 45 second mark. So, the old Bulldog offense seems some success, but it's taking a lot of time on the, off the clock as they are threatening, and they're going to have to put some points on the board because it is a two possession ball game. Super wide left, wide right. Hand off to Tellback again. Giddy. There we go. And nice tackle. Good tackle there and by Seth Smith. Smith. Yep. Tackle by number 84, Seth Smith. Brings up a third and eight. Gain of one on the run. Third down and eight. That clock's still running. Five minutes now. Five minutes and we're heading to the dance. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the music playing from here. Bring a little pressure, maybe. Oh. oh. Colton got through there. Oh, nice catch. He's going to be short, I believe, of the stick. So bring up. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be close. There's a flag, maybe a late. We do have a flag on the play. Another penalty here after the play. So they were short of the first down. Oh, yeah, they. Oh, 
Yeah, we'll be first down. Oh, so you're still first and 10, man. Yeah. Yeah. Reese in motion, snap, fakes it Fake to it. him. Nice. Oh, come on. There you go, back. Good tackle by Blazer. Good open field tackle. He doesn't make that. He's in the end zone. He might be in the end zone. That clock's still running, just over four minutes. Four minutes and 20 seconds here, fourth quarter. Yeah, hadn't really changed the tempo much. No. Nope. Kind of getting in the ball pretty slow now. Snap. Nice Hand out to the tailback no. again. Nothing and there. Just, just hadn't able to find a lot of room three, tonight. Kind of surprised me they're going to him more here. They, I mean, they need to score. Dylan for the Wolverine. Clock is now approaching three and a half minutes here in the fourth quarter. We're looking at a third and three for the Bulldogs. And they're in no hurry. No. Nope. To the point where as long as you keep them out of the end zone, just keep look, I think it work a little more clock. Yeah. Snap. Fakes it to Reese again. Yeah. Quarterback, Quarterback keeper. Keep he tries to get to the outside. He's able to. And gets pushed out of bounds, but we'll give him the first down. With three minutes and 13 seconds left to play. Pushed out of bounds by number three, Nicholas Nahalov. The run gives the Bulldogs a first down and 10 at the Grover 12 yard line. So since he was out of bounds, that will stop the clock at three minutes and 13 seconds left to play. Let's see if we. Snap, handoff tailback again, and Jackson Weibman grabs him and takes, brings him down. Handoff goes to number three, Kamen Plaker. Brought down These boys are getting tired. It's yes, been, yes. been a long game. We're going on three hours here, so. No gain on the run, second down and 10 for Yale. Be big, big time if these Wolverines can keep them out of the end zone here. Second and 10, snap, looking to throw. Pressure. Throws it up for grabs, a little miscommunication on the route, and it falls incomplete. The hooks came in through there late and really forced that ball to get out of there. So I'll stop the clock at two minutes and 34 seconds left to play. Third down and 10. Third and 10 upcoming. Shotgun formation, snap, and quarterback keep. keep. Good pursuit oh. by Seth, he misses them, but who's that from behind? Dylan Dalton, yeah. good, good pursuit, good pursuit keeping yeah. him short of the first down, down and that'll make the clock keep Dylan running as we're gonna get close to two minutes probably before this next snap. And a big fourth down and this could do it. Good team defense there, Smith. Would love to make that play, but cutting back in. Yeah, gave Dalton, Dalton was the coming down the line, yeah. Right here, the Garber crowd with the defensive chant. We're under two minutes left to play. There's a snap, drops back for throw. Number 15 out route. On an out route. Oh, got it. Oh. So on fourth and five, completion to Connor Elliott in the corner of the end zone. With a minute 45 seconds left to play, and the score is 62 to 58. Yell has those out routes. <laughs> yeah, they've been really good at those all night. Somebody almost got a hand up to knock it down, and this is really well placed ball. Through where his guy was the only one that could get to it. Yeah. Snap. Oh, Reed. 
he ends up oh, handing it to him late, and I think he fell in, and he did, yeah. The score is now 62 to 60 with a minute 45 left to play. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a short break and be back for these last two minutes. Email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. Welcome back to Garber Old Greens TV. A minute 45 seconds left to play with Yell only having two timeouts left. I'd be expecting maybe an onside kick. And that's what it is. Kicks at Cooper Hughes, and he's able to bring it in. Hand on the hands team, huh? Yeah, Cooper Hughes has pretty good hands. <laughs> kind of shocks you being a bigger kid. Yeah. But <laughs> Does he got a soft touch in basketball? Uh, yeah, at Does times. Okay. At times. <laughs> at times. Wolverines will take possession, first down and You don't know 10. this. We'll get back to the game here. Yeah, yeah. it's a kind of important part. Yeah. First and 10, I, I'm not a, good at math, but I would assume we get a first down, you got to feel uh, pretty good. Yeah. Snap, fake, quarterback keep. keep. Oh. Brett Howard, he gets taken down behind line of scrimmage. I believe we'll see a timeout. Yeah, timeout, so clock will stop minute 38. So where are we going? Well, you probably didn't know this, but you were setting by one of the worst free throw shooters <laughs> in the history of Garber sports, <laughs> Garber basketball. So no touch, huh? No, I was awful. <laughs> and I averaged a double-double, but. If you could have made free throws, it'd just been. Yeah, I, most of the time I'd miss the first or second one, and I'd get my rebound, <laughs> miss, rebound, and then make it on the third attempt. Well, you were nice last year and kind of gave us a look at yeah. the scout team for maybe two, three possessions, and then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I signed up for that, they said it would be easy. They go, oh, we'll just go down one time. Next thing I know, Colton Steiner's yelling at me because I wasn't doing something right. Like you've I been said, in practice hey, all year. I'm not getting paid to be here, okay? <laughs> This is where you have the conversation, which, I mean, I know no timeouts. You've probably got to run the football, but with third and long, the first down ends it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. what. I don't get paid to make those <laughs> decisions, so we're going to find out right here. But <laughs> You're tired after the three-hour mark. That's where you, you, no, you quit the thinking. I had weed to at 8 o'clock this morning, so I've been – Oh, you've been up and at them. I took off work today, and I think I've been busy all day, so <laughs> – but I also do. I mean, now we're talking about you just taking off work. You gotta get a shout out because you definitely helped me out as I got a flat the other day and just. They don't. The company doesn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> no, I uh, work at Farm Credit of Enid, and and I did help Fletch out the other day. Start line. So the Bulldogs are threatening Bulldogs now with a minute twenty left to play. The big change of events there. Yell Bulldogs spread it out. Twins right, twins left. Quarterback alone. See if we can get some pressure on him. Looks like we're creeping towards the line of scrimmage. Snap. We are pressure. bringing a lot. Get to him, Dylan. Good for Throws it away. Oh, tries to get it to his boy, PJ Reese, and falls incomplete. That's one. <laughs> Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Yeah, that ball was tipped up, and the lineman just brought it down. Kind of yeah. lived his dream there, caught that, and tried to get some yards. 
So plenty of time in the minute 16 left. We've been in here for a while. Yeah. Comes from the back, looks like 10 second mark is being held up. You have no timeouts. Five seconds left on the play clock. Snap, bringing four again. Nothing, good job, D. Get to him, get to him, good. A big sack there by the defensive line. Oh, it was and uh, that's gonna keep the clock running as the clock is our friend. Was that a designed run? Or Looked like it. They're gonna get back to the ball here really quick. Bring four again, keep getting to him, keep getting to him. Oh, they're gonna Ooh, spike it on third and long. So now brings up a fourth flag. and long. There's a flag here. What's this flag for? You think everybody set? No, they're gonna wave it. Ball is down. Brings up fourth down for Yale. That was interesting with 50 seconds to go, 57 yeah. seconds. It's kind of like the ball a, yeah. on a third down. Get to him again, defensive line. They're not, what are we going to time out on the ref here? This will be a big play here. Yeah. No doubt. Biggest play of the game. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you got to got to think they're going to throw it to seven. So, I mean, one of their best playmakers all night tonight. They hit the long ball 15. Yeah. But, for the, yeah, for the most part, they have went to seven most of the night. It's kind of a little too deep, look, you would think, for their out route timing, just yeah. with the pressure we've yeah. gotten, which is good, because they've been really good. I mean, that's been one of their key plays. They're spreading out again. Yep. Get to them. Get to them. Get to them. We creep towards the line of scrimmage. Don't, let, don't get beat back up back there. Yeah. Kind yeah. of forced him to throw it short, and even if he would have caught it, it would have been, been short. short of the line of scrimmage. So, kind of just disrupting that play there, even though he didn't make the tackle or the sack. It, it, it definitely threw the timing off on everything. So, we're gonna, we, we should be one, two kneels away. Looks like yes. we got Alex Chester back deep just in case. Snap, kneels it, so there's one. Probably one more away. You get a good snap, take the knee. Go get showered up. Yeah. Homecoming, big win on homecoming night. This is a district game. Is this our? Yes. No, 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 next week, next week. I believe is our first district game. Snap is good, and there it is. So that should end it. That will be the last snap of the game. And that'll be uh, that'll complete the victory for the Wolverines. That is the fourth win of the season at four and one. And uh, just honestly, just one of those games where first half was just a huge shootout, just scoring back and forth. Defense stepped up in a big way in the second half. Um, really just kind of felt like third, fourth quarter. We, were, we pulled it to 10, and then Yale just with no no quit, brings it down to a single possession game and a big kind of a turnover down the stretch made it really interesting. Yeah. But uh, the Wolverine defense steps up, gets pressure on the quarterback, um, forces some bad throws, gets a sack. And, I mean, for how many points were on the board, it, it came down the defense to find a way to get a stop with those deals. Uh, so, but yeah. – Defense came up big, got some pressure. You know, they got a lot of pressure in the second half, made some plays, got the timing off, and uh, kind of sealed the deal there. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just kind of a few big-time performances at the top of my head. I lost track of how many totals we had. But uh, Brett Howard, he had a heck of a game, throwing the football. Seth Smith, finding the end zone from the tight end position. Um, and then Ellis Chester early in the first half, get punching in two scores. So, uh, I mean, offensively, you saw the firepower from a lot of different people tonight. Defensively, I mean, just based on feel, it seemed like Seth Smith was in a lot of tackles. Um, Blazer was in on a lot of tackles. Carson Bishop played a huge role in the secondaries. It seems like he was the one that was kind of falling around number seven, P.J. Reese, in the second half. 
and made it difficult on him. Um, so those are kind of some huge, huge pieces that I kind of saw from this game. Uh, next week, I believe we have Pond Creek. I do believe so at Pond Creek. At Pond we'll Creek. We'll be traveling. Yep, for our first district game. Um, and I believe that's next weekend. Maybe bands going something next weekend. They got their state contest. Um, softball ended this week. We made got beat out in regionals. Had a really successful year. Uh, won our first district championship in 15 years. And so it was an exciting year for softball. Ho- I mean, hoping to keep to keep the – Momentum going in the coming season should be exciting for Coach Taylor and those girls. Yeah. Um, then junior high, I'm not quite sure if junior high has a game next week or not. So I can't, don't want to say something that's incorrect. <laughs> you are asking the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm still thinking you said 15 years. So, I mean, that solidifies that it's 17 years since I graduated. So, uh, yeah, it's a big accomplishment by the Lady Wolverines there. Uh, 2007, that's, that's a long time coming. So. Uh, congratulate them on a good season and and you know continue to build on that yep so a lot of excitement tonight with homecoming huge crowd that was awesome if you tuned in uh, thank you for tuning in thank you again to our sponsors for making this possible Uh, and then if you were just around the area and feel like going to having some fun the street dance is right down the road so take a trip out there listen to some music have some fun and we'll see you next week sounds good